I don't know if anybody has done this yet, but I want to demonstrate my idea with it. I've had an idea like this for a while, and I didn't realize that Streamlabs actually has something that'll make it work, even though it probably wasn't what it was intended for, but I've managed to make it do what I want to do. Hello everybody, Zeno here, and I'm going to do a weird tutorial on OBS for your streams and or recordings, more of live streams because that's the whole point of it, but have you ever wanted to stream a game? or do something on a stream, but you don't know what you want to do or you want to do multiple things. Well, you can use, you know, people sometimes flip a coin. They do that, they could do that on live stream. That'd be simple enough. Or there's like multiple things you want to do. Maybe I want to play four different kinds of games. Like, oh, maybe I want to stream Battlefield today or Mario Golf or Sonic Riders or Sonic Adventure 2 Randomizer. I don't know, I can't decide. Well, now I have this thing called the spin wheel. Yes, um, Streamlabs has a spin wheel that is supposed to be used for merchandise, but as long as you don't enable it for people to buy stuff, you can actually use it to your own advantage. So I'm going to show you the things I got going on right here. I got it set up to be four different games, and I can manually cycle it to be whatever it wants. And uh, volume warning... <laughs> I have it on, a, on my own custom sound effect, so when it spins, it makes its own sound. So instead of the... It's a different sound effect. So you can also use that for comedic value. But this is my demonstration. Okay, imagine I'm streaming, blah de blah de blah you know, stream starting soon, the countdown's almost done. Um, and it gets done, and I say, hello, everybody, what's going on? I'm streaming around here and that stuff. Well, I don't know what I'm going to play today. So you know what? We'll let fate decide. Should I play Mario Golf, Battlefield 5, Sonic Riders, or Sonic Adventure 2 Randomizer? Well, whatever that lands on, it'll land on. And just like that, I'm playing Battlefield 5 this stream. Isn't that freaking awesome? Well, <laughs> I find it utterly hilarious and cool. And I've had this idea for so long and I wouldn't know how to implement it. But within milliseconds of finding this on Streamlabs, I figured out how to use it to my own advantage. And I'm going to show you guys how, hopefully without giving away my personal information from the website. So let's transition into here. So if you have a Streamlabs account, obviously you know all this stuff about things and things. So um, once I carefully edit this in post to make sure I don't give out any personal information, I can show you what you want to do. Just go to your all widgets and go down to spin wheel. So what this will default to is this weird thing where it's like if someone purchased, someone donates or something and they unlock a some weird thingamabob that lets you uh, buy some random merchandise. It had like water bottle, t-shirt, and something else. And it had that all in a thing. So when someone buys something, it'll automatically kick the spin wheel and it'll show them what they bought. Well, as long as you don't actually enable the brand part, you can actually turn this into whatever you want for a chance spinner. And I've edited it to make it be whatever you want. So usually before a stream, I can type all this stuff in and update it. So I have it on Mario Golf, Battlefield 5, Sonic Riders, and Randomizer. If I only wanted it to be three things, I can uh, clear a category and then save and reload it. So when we go back to the spin wheel, there's only three options now. So when we do the long faded... There you go. Sonic Riders is now the option. It's it's so fun to do. And if you go back to this screen here, you can literally make it anything. If you want, if you have like a whole bunch of viewers playing, and you have like, oh man, I'm hungry. What do I want to eat? Should I eat a candy bar? Should I eat shredded cheese live on stream like a freaking moron? Or should I uh, make a peanut butter sandwich on live stream and eat it really, really weirdly? And you could have three options. Psh, update it. Psh, go to the spin wheel, and then. And do that again. This has so much potential. The only issue I have with this program is I don't know how to not um, have it stay linked to the merchandising because there are some people who actually link their merchandise to Streamlabs. And if you already did that or you're popular popular enough to do something like that, you're probably out of luck. But for smaller people like me who aren't even officially affiliated yet on Twitch, 
this is the perfect thing to use as a gimmick. It is cool to, you know, someone someone you like to stream comes up and they're like, oh man, what are they going to play today? Let's go look at the spin wheel. If I get here before they actually start the stream, we'll get to find out what they get to play in advance. It's kind of like an anticipation kind of thing. And I find it incredibly, incredibly fun as a thing for streaming to do. So, yeah, I don't give you... I haven't done any tutorial on how to put that into OBS Studio, but if you already know how to add your Streamlabs stuff, you obviously already know how to do all that stuff. So, I recommend you do stuff like this because it is fun, you know? So, yeah, this, this was a fun idea. I don't know when I'm going to post this and what channel I'm going to post it on, but this is pretty fun. This is cool, and... Uh, other than that, I don't know what to say, then follow me on Twitch. It'll help me out, especially because I'll be doing this thing as well on days I don't know what I want to play. So, yeah. All right. Zeno is out of here, hoping, hopefully making another stupid idea for Twitch streaming. Catch you guys later.